Breaking news, new video out of Ukraine. Dramatic images show a Ukrainian airport completely destroyed by eight Russian missiles. Ukraine's president is once again calling for NATO to get involved in the conflict to help put an end to what's been a catastrophic number of civilian casualties. Mike Tobin is in Lviv, Ukraine with the latest for us. Russia's invasion of Ukraine entering its 11th day on Sunday has so far been met with fierce resistance. But Russian President Vladimir Putin says everything is going according to plan and the fighting will not stop until the people of Kiev lay down their arms and surrender. If they continue to do what they're doing, they're calling into question the future of Ukrainian statehood. And if this happens, it will be entirely on their conscience. A second push to get citizens out of the port city of Mariupol fell apart after Russian attacks interrupted efforts to create a humanitarian corridor agreed upon as part of a temporary ceasefire. People still trapped there have been sleeping in bomb shelters for nearly a week amid a constant barrage of Russian shelling. Hundreds of thousands now face food and water shortages and a lack of heat and hot water in freezing temperatures. We don't have food supplies. People are taking everything. Shops are empty. Ukraine's president on Sunday said Russian rockets destroyed a civilian airport in the city of Inyetsa, and he repeated his request for NATO to impose a no-fly zone over Ukraine to stop the attacks. We repeat every day. Close the sky over Ukraine to every Russian missile, to Russian combat aviation, to all these terrorists. We are people, and this is your humanitarian duty to protect us and to protect people. NATO leaders have thus far ruled out the possibility of a no-fly zone out of fears they could escalate this war into a world war. In Lviv, Ukraine, Mike Tobin, Fox News.